The XOR CI CD content pack allows for the robust management of automation content such as playbooks, integrations, job configurations, and predefined lists. This pack was created to mimic the processes of our internal engineering and content teams here at Palo Alto Networks. Here we can see an example of how XOR content might be promoted across different environments. A content developer might choose to work locally on their own machine, leveraging the IDE of their choice and pulling in content from the dev instance into their local machine using the Demisto SDK. Using a version control system such as Git allows for a lot of flexibility in the deployment process. By using these standard development tools, XOR content can be linted, validated, and deployed to artifact servers. The automations that are included in this content pack allow for the installation of custom content from artifact repositories such as AWS S3 and Google Cloud Storage. There are now multiple supported ways to manage content within XOR, but which one is right for you? The remote repository method allows for simple setup and easy promotion of content between dev and prod servers. In this scenario, XOR manages the Git repository and stores all the content in the unified YAML format. Using CI-CD pipelines to manage XOR content is best suited for advanced customers with a lot of custom content. By using Git and CI-CD processes, you're able to have complete autonomy of the development, staging, and deployment of content in your environments. Using this methodology supports storing content in the pack directory format. This allows for content to be managed using the Demisto SDK. This article, which is linked to in the supporting resources, gives a great overview of how you can leverage continuous integration and deployment pipelines to manage your XOR content. You can get started by creating a copy of the content CI CD template from the Demisto GitHub repository. Once you've cloned the repository and created your first content pack, the GitHub Actions template can be used to create the artifacts and push them to the server of your choice. On the XOR server, a configuration setup incident can be created either manually or via a job. The XOR config file is attached to specify which pack should be installed and you can select where the pack should be installed from. Inside the incident, you can see any of the packs that have been installed from the marketplace and the custom artifact repository, as well as any jobs or predefined lists. If we look at the main work plan, we can see that configuration files can also be installed from GitHub or GitLab. The custom packs are taken down from the artifact repository via Google Cloud Storage, an HTTP request, or AWS S3. These packs are then installed. Similarly, marketplace packs are installed, as well as any predefined lists. If there are any jobs specified in the config file, those would also be created before the investigation is closed. Well, that's all for the demo. I hope you enjoyed. Check out the articles on xor.pan.dev for more information on some of the different benefits of using this pack, as well as the trade-offs with the remote repository features.